James Horton is the founder of the Black Cultural Sight and Sound Expo, and I'm telling you, you are making it a point to document black history. Talk about that, sir. It's very important, and I started doing this about 20 years ago when I was working with some young people I was having problems with. I directed a boys' boot camp. And what I found out is that they had no idea, no idea in the world how we got to where we got to. So I started going out collecting artifacts and pictures and just talking to these young people about coming from Africa to the present day time. And the best way to do this was actually give them an opportunity to see actual artifacts, see real people, see black inventors, to know about them. And that, that's what's outstanding here. I mean, the, the black inventors uh, display that you have, and I know you told me this is just a small part of your collection, but I mean, so many people I know didn't were not aware that blacks invented so many great products. No, it fascinated me when I started doing research. And the first thing that fascinated me was the golf tee. When I found out that a black man invented the golf tee that we are hitting golf balls off, just blew me away. And then I found out the elevator, or uh, the washing machine, the wash tub, uh, ice cream, peanut butter, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, the coupling that puts the trains, connect the trains together. A black man invented that. And uh, that was black females who did things. You got the ironing board out there. You got the broom, which is named after the young lady named Broom. The mop. And it goes on and on and on. This is powerful stuff. And I guess it's nothing more powerful, no better black history, than the election of Barack Obama as our president. You know, I am a product of Bloody Sunday, Selma, Alabama. See the little hole in my head? That's where it came from. I never dreamed that I would ever see a black mayor not on a black president. So, you know, I rejoice. I rejoice every day. And I make sure that people know that he is President Barack Obama. Not Mr. Barack Obama, but President Barack Obama. And this is a time where we all, and I like what he said. He said, if you ever doubt America as being the greatest place in the world, look at me now. Outstanding. Well, Mr. Horton, how can someone find out more information about the Black Cultural Sight and Sound Expo? How can they see this great exhibit? Give them some information. Uh, the best spot right is this particular time if you go to Facebook. You go to Facebook and you'll see Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, James Horton. I have uh, about 100 and some pictures about the collection on there. I'm putting together a website. Hopefully it will be up pretty soon. Or you can get me at James underscore Horton 35 Yahoo.com. Thank you so much, James, again, for the great work. Black Cultural Sight and Sound Expo. You saw it here. Thank you.